take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Ovidrel is similar to the hormone that is detected by pregnancy tests. Therefore, pregnancy tests will be falsely positive for up to 14 days after the shot. Do not take a home pregnancy test within two weeks of any Ovidrel shot. Let's help you make your mark. Fascinating research has previously shown that after intrauterine insemination, sperm reach the ends of the tubes within 3 to 10 minutes. So many clinics have adopted the practice of keeping patients lying still for 10 minutes after IUI. Take our lead. But, I do think that the trigger was premature with your IUI. Yes, you might get three mature eggs, but all the follicles that are less than 16 mms will be immature. They do continue to grow a little, but the follicle has not reached ovulatory size. Make your mark, take our lead. Experts at the Mayo Clinic recommend waiting at least two weeks after the shot to take a pregnancy test. This is because it may take between 10 and 14 days for the trigger shot to leave your system. And if you're doing art procedures, your doctor may schedule you for a beta, initial, blood test to look for HCG. Make your mark! Take our lead. Smaller follicles 10 to 14 millimeters usually do not give us an egg, and if they do, the egg is most often immature. In addition, many of the follicles in women over 40 or those with DOR are empty since the eggs may have degenerated over time. Take our lead. Following subcutaneous administration of Ovidrel, HCG is eliminated from the body with a mean terminal half-life of about 29 plus or minus 6 hours. After intravenous administration of Ovidrel 250 micrograms to healthy down-regulated females, the mean terminal half-life is 26.5 plus or minus 2.5 hours and the total body clearance is 0.29 plus or minus 0.04 LH. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.